Greetings, you guys. This is going to be just a um, quick video for Venus Day. I'm going to do um, a goddess reading. Everyone has an inner goddess in them, whether they're male or female. This is the um, tapping into the self-loving energies, the nurturing energies, um, inner power, inner strength. This is inner creativity. We're tapping into the solar plexus energy. So I'm going to be using the goddess, I think this is the goddess oracle, one of them by um, Dorian Virtue. I'm going to use my two decks, my Walu Child Reading Baddie Oracle cards and my Walu Tarot. And then I'm going to pull one card from the Armanti, Armanti Oracle, if I'm saying that right. So let's go ahead and tap into this energy. I'm going to pull some cards from this deck. Let's see. What we, um, Spirit, thank you for loving guidance and clarity. What is the message that we need to tap into with our inner goddess? Our inner goddess. Whoa, okay. So we have two cards that wanted to fall out of the deck on the floor and on the table. So the first two cards we have is the arts card. And sorry for the lighting because I'm like in show mode right now. Um, it says express yourself through creative activities. Then you have the transformation card. It says you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Then you have the home card. It says your household situation is improving either through a move or healthy change in occupation. The next card you have is bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. Okay. So immediately what I get with this is that this is a time of change within yourself. Your environment um, most likely is going to change when you're changing. So we can either influence the energy. I don't know if you've ever seen this meme, but this is what came to mind. Um be the the change in the atmosphere or when you walk into a room something like that so um also sometimes we are we do step into environments where others will feel like you know i don't belong in this type of place or environment um it's learning about how to master your inner home it's about mastering the inner self it's mastering your inner emotions your energy your your reaction to certain things people and environments because sometimes some environments do not change. Um, but you, I feel like you do have the power to shift the environment. Whether that be good or bad, you do have the power to do so. I also feel like this is a time that Spirit is saying to focus more on your creativity. Um, a lot of you, this is music. Okay, She's playing an instrument. Um, I'm seeing healing with the hands. So this could be that some of you guys are healers. You guys could be doctors, nurses. Maybe you work at a nursing home or something like that. Or... Um, yeah, something like that I'm getting for some of you. Also, I'm getting, you guys might have pets, like cats and things like that. Um, being active, you know, sometimes, sometimes during the season of change and transformation, when you're in that hermit mode, you really don't want to go out. You don't want to, um, do too much. You kind of just want to stay to yourself. Spirit is saying that you need some nature in your life, I feel. And if you have pets kids, whatever, take some time out. And I feel um, butterflies may be a totem for some of you right now. Swans, cats, um, big wild cats. There's a totem for you right now. And Spirit's telling you to pay attention to those, those messengers that Spirit sends on your path. So specifically, I'm seeing a swan, a butterfly, and this looks like a lynx or something, or it could be a cat. Can't really tell what that is. It might be a house cat. Um, I'm always researching my animal speak pocketbook guide. Um, I always look into this because it gives me so much clarity. So I'm going to look at what swans represent first because I don't always remember. Um, where are you? Swans. Swans represent magical wonders. It says magical realms are opening. We are in the 1111 portal, technically, all November long. 
um trust in your heart it says your true self and your creativity which is interesting because this card is the arts card it says your new opportunities are coming so also some of you guys may need to focus right now on your creative endeavors and stuff like that if you feel like you have a creative block that's okay it could be due to this this um transformation it could also be due to your environment spirit may also be pushing pushed <laughs> pushing maybe then i don't know that's interesting something it could be sexual energies um you got a lot of blues you have two cards that are like bluish tints and then you have like this yellow energy so throat chakra you guys could use your throats a lot like i said music or singing or writing um public speaking whatever this could be it's different for everyone i feel like this is pushing you out of your comfort zone so if your environment is like very stagnant and it's it's it could also be too that because of these changes that you're going through, you're starting to see where your energy is just kind of over expanded. Like you don't fit in certain capacities, like trying to stuff a, I don't know, trying to stuff a plastic bowl. Like you're trying to put the spaghetti. I'm always using food because I love food. Anyway, um, <laughs> like a big bowl of spaghetti and you're trying to like stuff all of it into this, this big like this one little bowl where it does not fit you know instead of looking for a bigger bowl you're trying to just force it into something because maybe that's your favorite bowl you're used to using that bowl all the time or whatever but this is like you've over you've expanded okay with the transformation card you don't fit in these comfort zones the home card could represent comforts so i feel like you've you've graduated out of some sort of energy and spirits pushing you out of that and um this could also be travel for some of you too like i'm getting a lot of there's spirit guides around you that may be pushing you towards some sort of travel or needing to maybe take a day trip somewhere or like go to a specific place where there may be water or you know take a walk take a hike somewhere is like spirits guiding you to like a, a specific place to meditate and reflect or just push you out of your comfort zone like get you out of yourself get yourself out of the way because you are going through a transformative period. And that brings me to the butterfly. So let's see. Come on. Insects. Insects. Well, we know they represent transformation. It says new birth, new love, and joy are coming. Transformation is inevitable, but will be easier than expected. Embrace the new beginning. So yeah, you're, you're going through this. And it feels like a tough, shitty period for some of you. It could feel that way. But what's really happening is that it's because you're being pushed out of an energy that you don't fit. It's like a, a pressure, like a, um, yeah, you're going through that process of a caterpillar, of the butterfly. And that's a, a process that does not happen overnight. Okay. Um, cats. Let me see. I think. Let me see. Okay. Cats represent independence. It says mystery and magic is afoot. But you must find your own way of expressing it. Develop your ability to be more independent. So yeah, it's kind of like if you're used to kind of like waiting for something to happen or waiting for others to validate or push you or, you know, just something. I feel like you got to do it on your own. If you're the type of person that, you know, has to have like a group of people to go out with, this might be pushing you to go out by yourself. It could be travel by yourself it could be um if you're used to people you know helping you with your writings and this is you doing it all by yourself if this is about moving out for the first time on your own and getting your own place if this is um just something that you you're going to do on your own if you're used to going to the same hangout spots it's going to push you to try something different different styles of clothes because you i think venus represents you know fashion and beauty so that brings me to the baddie oracle. So I feel like I'm speaking to Aries, Geminis, and Scorpios dominant in their chart. People with Aries, Gemini, and Scorpio. This could be like your sun, moon, rising for some of you like specifically. But you could have Venus in one of these signs. Your Aries is Venus or Gemini or Scorpio. We are in Scorpio season. We are also in a Mercury retrograde energy, which is Gemini's ruling planet. So this could be speaking to some of you guys specifically and we have insecurities and eyes so some of you guys are not seeing yourself in your true your true um light with the insecurity and the eyes you're not seeing yourself 
for the, who you truly are. I feel some of you guys every now and then um, may go through these, you know, these self doubts and insecurities and, you know, over judging your creativity, over judging your li living situations, your financial situations, your love situations, whatever. And I feel like it's because of this transformation. You're going through this process right now. So it's easy to look at things as if they're not working because you're going through a change. You're not really able to see the transition. Maybe you could feel it in a spiritual sense, but you're not able to really see it physically. Um, some of you may even be aware of what's happening, but I feel like there's a hint of insecurities and doubts of self. And some of you guys may be releasing self-doubts and insecurities um, if I didn't say that already, you may already be letting it out. So say, for instance, you struggled with doubting your gifts and your abilities, your singing or your writing or, you know, your ability to play an instrument or maybe you want to play an instrument and you're holding yourself back or um, getting a home or moving out or moving out of the, you know, out of the state or maybe even out of the country for some of you. So there's this inner insecurity and I feel like some of you guys, it's because of the purging and releasing. So it's coming up to be addressed and to be healed. You could also be getting triggered by, you know, be mindful of the things that you see. I also feel like you guys have beautiful eyes um, and that could be either the shape, the color, you know, whatever the size of your eyes, whatever your eyelashes could be. And Spirit's saying to accentuate these qualities, but also to look at yourself in the eyes of truth, not in the eyes of false and over, like, over perfectionism and all that stuff. So let's see what else. I'm going to pull some cards from my Wally Tarot deck, see if there's anything else that Spirit wants to say. Okay, you have the Four of Cups. So there's a little bit of, like, pessimism, but it's like, you got to get out. Four of Swords. Yeah, this is a lot of, um, you know, kind of being fixed in this energy of stagnation and not pushing yourself out and to go after your passions the two of wands like the world is waiting for you to step out this is a new season like a lot of us are manifesting some some major beautiful things and blessings and it's time to step out nine of wands and the six of swords so the fear of progressing and moving forward some of you guys it is travel i'm getting that and then you have the eight of cups like this is it's like it's a new cycle, Ace of Cups, like spirits blessing you with a new energy, a new opportunity. For some of you guys, it could be love. It could be anything that brings you abundance and peace and, and real joy. So I feel like the world is waiting for you. This new energy is waiting for you to choose it. But you got to get out of this feeling, this nine of wands of already beating it up, beating yourself down or already turning something down before it even manifests before it even comes to fruition before you can even see what's in store for you because spirit also is trying to offer this ace of cups here but you're too focused on these three cups here and this could be past energies things that happened in the past things that did not work out as you know that's usually what you know what the five of cups is and it's also releasing and purging the things from the past that may have disappointed you so that you can be available to see what is ahead and to move towards that imbalance okay so let's pull from the armin the oracle and this will be the last card what else divine spirit do we need to know okay i do good okay so you have to forgive yourself some of you guys this is a time where maybe you are purging and releasing through tears and sadness or what it feels like or maybe even cloaking as depression for some of you, I would never say like just discard your feelings and not check into it. If you do feel like, you know, you have some something that needs um, medical attention or some sort of psychiatric attention or something like that, definitely do that. I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but I do feel like for, you know, on a spiritual level, there's a lot that is happening. There is a lot that is taking place. We are in Scorpio season. There's a lot of hidden energies, a lot of going deep within the self in the subconscious and our shadow self so it's not always easy but spirit is saying that even if it feels like you're not doing well and you're not progressing if you're releasing if you're healing if you're acknowledging your emotions and your thoughts then you are doing what you're supposed to be doing because it's guiding you to a place or it should be guiding you to a place to go inward and to really address this shit and release it and let it go once and for all so that you can move forward. This is about having spiritual balance. This is about going within and learning about your truth, about yourself, who you really are, the more and more you release and let go. So that is your reading. I do hope that this resonated and this meets you at the right time where it's meant to meet you. 
and resonates. And until the next reading, take care. Peace.